Hello, my strange onions, you ask. So I'm delivering another installment of, drumroll please, creepy conservative men who come into my DMs because they think I'm a woman. <laughs> this one starts how they all start, once upon a DM notification. Horny, he asked. I'm currently a vortex of contradictory emotions brought on by your correspondent starter. The first is repulsion by your vulgarity and frankness, but your frankness also brings upon a contradictory emotion, which is admiration. I could never start a conversation with a stranger as bluntly as you did, and yet here we are. The next is shame. I know it's irrational, but I was brought up in purity culture, so a small part of my brain is saying, this is your fault. This attention is your fault, even though I know it's not true. And I also feel shame over having read your question of horny. Purity culture's a bitch, but I'm guessing you also grew up in purity culture because, you know, purity culture and rape culture are the same thing, just in a different font. Which brings on my next emotion, curiosity. What has brought you to the point that you feel so entitled that you can start a conversation with a stranger with a simple question of horny? I must admit, curiosity was probably the strongest of all my emotions since it led me to looking at your page, which brings us to pride. I feel tremendous pride and vindication when I realized you are an evangelical Christian. How was your mission trip, by the way? I saw that you just got back from it a week ago which brings us to vengeance. I'm currently fighting that one though, I will have you know, as I am desperately wanting to message everyone you tagged in that picture of your church's mission trip. My restraint is currently winning out at the moment, so that is good for you, I guess. So as you can see, I'm currently feeling a lot of emotions, but none of them is horny. I said, I don't know why he blocked me. Thank you for watching, my strange onions. I love you. Have a hug, a cookie, and a juice box. Mwah.